This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have the classic Electrolux dryer that's rumbling and this is due to a bunch of lint that's uh, built up in the blower housing. So pretty easy to fix, doesn't require any parts, but there's some disassembly. So we unplugged it. We're gonna take off the top panel. There's two Phillips head screws on the back, in the upper left, upper right hand corner. We just have to pull out those screws. And then you should be able to push back on the upper lid uh, back away from you and by about maybe an inch to two inches and then you should be able to lift off the top lid. Sometimes they're kind of stuck and you can take a standard head screwdriver and pry a little bit here in the front to get the thing to move back. Once it's back again about one to two inches you can lift it off. And then we're going to take off some two long screws that are underneath the door here on the right and left hand side. Get those out of the way. And then we're gonna take out a couple at the very bottom, bottom left, bottom right. We have the dryer elevated by a couple of inches just to get to those screws a little bit easier. So I, I put something underneath the dryer to lift it up. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to see the screws. So when we get those out, then there's a couple at the top we gotta to get out too. So we got the upper right, got a screw there and the upper left. We're trying to get the front panel off. So pull back on the front panel on the right and left side. You gotta pull back pretty hard because it, it'll be um, held in by some clips. But yank back and it'll come loose. And then we wanna carefully take off this blue wire here that goes to the control. We're gonna lift up on this tab here at the top and then pull the modular connector back toward the back of the dryer. And then down here at the bottom right, there's another connector. This is for the door switch. We're just gonna push in and separate that modular connector. We should be able to pull off the front panel now. And next we wanna remove this bulkhead, but first we have to remove this uh, modular connector here. And we just wanna separate these two. I'm using a knife to get in there in between, a uh, standard head screwdriver would work great too. It would be a little safer actually. And we're going to remove this uh, connector here that is holding the wire in position. I'm going to push in on either side of it to release the tabs and then pull it out away from the bulkhead. The bulkhead is this big uh, gray front assembly that we're removing. Come over to this side and we're going to remove this one too. I'm going to pull this one out with a pair of pliers. Just get that out and loose. Then I'm going to remove these two screws that are holding on the bracket that holds the controller in place. And I'll lift up on the bracket. And then I'm going to be loosening up these two plastic tabs that are holding on this wire harness. Got that out of the way. I'm going to remove these four <clears throat> screws, Phillips head screws that are in each corner, two on the bottom, two on the top, and then one here at the very bottom that's holding on the blower housing, or the, uh, the ducting. I'm going to take out these two screws at the top, and then we should be able to pull the bulkhead off of the dryer. We have to lift up. And then we have to kind of lift the tumbler. We have to reach in and lift up the tumbler to get it off because it has two wheels. You can see them now that are holding up the tumbler. I'm just going to check those wheels. I'm going to spin those, make sure that wasn't the source of the rumbling. There's also three wheels in the back that you can turn the tumbler and you can see if there's any sound or any problem with those wheels. But it, in fact, it turns out it's just all this crud that's built up through the years here on the on the blower wheel. The blower wheel blows air 
through the system during while the dryer is running. But for some reason, the electric lux ones develop uh, this strange thing where the lint builds up in the veins, the plastic veins, and it creates a terrible rumbling noise. It also really decreases uh, the airflow and how well the dryer can function. So I'm using a long standard head screwdriver to help me get these big chunks of lint out. This particular homeowner did have a, a long haired dog too, so some of the dog bedding probably gets caught in there also. And this problem occurred, they said, at about maybe six years in of use, so this could have been just an accumulation of lint. But I only see this with the Electrolux dryers, and I think it's just the way that this blower wheel is designed. The veins are really long, and they're more apt to catch things. So after a while, there's so much accumulation and such an imbalance that it causes that weird rumbling noise. It sounds like a support wheel is messed up, but it's really just this stuff that builds up. And again, I've only seen this with the Electrolux brand. So if you have a rumbly Electrolux, this is almost for sure what's happening. I've done this on about five or six, and it's been the exact same scenario. I got a feeling though that this won't reoccur for maybe another five or six years. I think it's an accumulation. So just take your time to just make sure all those veins are totally clear. Now I'm pulling out the filter. I'm going to clean this filter housing ducting because there's also a lot of dog fur and lint caught in there. And that'll be pulled into those veins. So I just cleaned all those veins on the blower wheel, but if I didn't clean this area, as soon as I turn on the dryer, new lint would be sucked in and just pollute that, that all over again. So I'm making sure this is really clear too. With all this increased airflow, this dryer is gonna dry fast and be very efficient. So this works really well. It's a lot of disassembly, but it'll get your dryer working great and get rid of the noise. So I'm putting the bulkhead back into position. I'm just getting the wheels underneath the tumbler and I have to line up the four sides. They have little um, parts on the bulkhead that line up to grooves in the frame. And once those are lined up, I can go ahead and put this um, controller support back in and then we can start adding the screws to hold everything together. All right, so we're gonna make sure it's all lined up correctly, being supported. Take our screw gun, put the Phillips head screw in here in the upper left-hand corner. Lower left. Upper right. We put a couple screws there that are holding the controller bracket against the bulkhead. Those lined up, screws in. Kind of like this part of the repair, the reassembly is fun, fun and fast. Lower right. Lower left, so the bulkhead's back in there, nice and strong. That helps to hold it all together. We've got one here in the lower, low, low right, and this one is holding the filter ducting onto the blower housing. Put this two, this modular connector back together, put the support back in. All right, and we're ready now to put the front panel back on. So we're going to reconnect that lid switch modular connector there in the bottom right corner. We have to get the front panel kind of near where it's ready to go in. We've got to do a little bit more before we install it. Take this wire housing we're going to put the uh, plastic clips back into the manifold to hold the wire housing in a position. We're going to reconnect this 
connector for the light, for the dryer light. Put the blue wires back in, that's the controller connector. And then we're going to lift up on the front panel, get everything lined up, push it firmly against the frame. And we can start adding the screws that hold on the front panel. Almost done. So this is a lot of disassembly and then assembly, but it will cure this problem. There's really, unfortunately, no faster way to do this. So we're adding these screws in the upper left-hand corner and upper right-hand corner to hold the front panel into position. There we go. Opening the door, we're going to add those long screws that are holding the front panel on and they go into plastic. They go into the filter housing. So they're at the 8 o'clock and 4 o'clock position. And we got to lift the dryer up a little bit, put something underneath it so we can add two small Phillips head screws to the bottom left, bottom right hand corner. Zip that one in. There we go. And the other side. We'll take out that piece that was holding it up. Get the front panel back into position, um, top panel and we're going to push it uh, toward us now so that it locks into the front, to the controller, get it all the way in where, that, where there's no more um, gap at all. We'll add those two Phillips head screws there on the back that are holding the top panel on. We're using this angle tool to get into these tight spaces, but you could always move the dryer away from the wall to give you more room. And that's it, we'll plug it in, give it a test, and you can hear the difference. That sounds good. So that did the trick. Hope that helps you with your Electrolux dryer. And thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe when you get a chance. Please give us a thumbs up, and we'll send you some more repair videos. Thanks again for watching.